What is going on YouTube, Akers here again with another brand new Cinema 4D tutorial and in today's lesson we're going to be taking a look at how to go from a rigid body tag into a soft body tag seamlessly. Now you might already know how to do the soft body tag within Cinema 4D but what we're going to be focusing on in today's lesson is how to go from rigid body into soft body seamlessly. Like so. So if we just head on into Cinema I've already got a light, couple of lights set up from Grayscale Gorilla, just in the interest of time. And also I've got a floor and a background. So I'm just going to add a sphere. Go to sphere. Bring it up, scale it up a little bit. Hit T on the keyboard. And then scale it up like so. And right off the bat we're going to click on the sphere and go to type. And change the type from standard to icosahedron I think I'm pronouncing that right I might be wrong I think it's icosahedron and basically what that's going to do that's going to change the way the polygons are formed within the sphere so if you go on standard you can see they're like so but because we're going to be working with soft body we want it on icosahedron and someone actually suggested I use icosahedron when I posted up my example and it seems to work pretty well so that's cool and now what we're going to do is go to simulation dynamics and we're going to add a rigid body and I'm just going to change it to 100 change the timeline to 100 frames cool so first off if we select our rigid body tag and come over to collision here we've got bounce friction and collision noise so what we're going to do obviously the bounce is self-explanatory turn that up to around 250 press play and it falls through the floor and that is because we need to add a collider to the floor so if we go to simulation dynamics create collider and the collider is just going to make it static so the sphere doesn't fall through the floor and the floor is a dynamic object so if we hit play now we get that nice bouncing ball might just want to bring the sphere just up a little bit like so and if we press play now there we go we get that nice bouncing ball so now what we're going to do we're going to make that transition into soft body so I'm going to select the sphere and then select the rigid body tag I'm going to move um, to around just over halfway in the timeline around there and I'm going to go over to soft body and you can currently see soft body is off and what we're going to do we're going to hold down control and select this button next to the soft body and that's going to turn it red and that means we have made a keyframe and if we move forward just a couple of frames and change it from off to made of polygons slash lines and that's going to make it a yellow button and what that means is it's waiting for us to add another keyframe so if we hold down control and select the yellow button that's going to turn it to a red button and that means we have now made a keyframe so if we hit play now you can see we get that transition we've keyframed from the soft body off and then we've made a keyframe and then now it's made of polygons slash lines so now what you can do you can actually go into the soft body and you can start to look at some of the settings for it so under stiffness you can change the stiffness up bump the stiffness up just a little bit that's what she said and so obviously the stiffness is if you don't want a bouncy squashy ball you can bump it right up and then we're going to get hardly any squashiness like so but if you set it to zero and hit play we're going to get a really squashy sphere and if you turn the structural down as well that should make it an even squashier ball like so so you can start to see how that example that I showed you yesterday is built up 
So it goes from a rigid bouncing ball into a soft body. And there's one thing that you want to do if you select the sphere. If we hit render now, you're going to see that the sphere is still a sphere. And there's a reason for that. If we select sphere and you want to come and uncheck render perfect. So if we render now, we should see the squashed ball. like so. So you want to make sure render perfect is unchecked otherwise you won't see the soft body dynamics when you render. So if you go back now click on the sphere we might want to bump these segments up to around 30 maybe and hit play now. So you can see that adding more segments makes the soft body look a lot nicer. So if you render now, you can see it looks really, really a lot sharper. If you've got a fast computer, you could probably bump it up even more, but working with soft body is gonna sort of be a render hog to your computer. So now what you can do, you can go back to the start and copy and paste one sphere maybe move it over hit T on the keyboard and maybe scale this one down just a little bit now be aware that when you scale down a sphere say we've just copied this one and we've scaled it down you may have to adjust the dynamics because the gravity and dynamics will affect it differently if it's a smaller sphere so you can see that that one's the little ones almost collapsed so we might need to go into the soft body dynamics of that sphere and you might want to turn the structure up and you might want to turn the stiffness up as well just so it doesn't collapse on itself so you can see that little sphere is looking a lot better now it's not collapsing cool so there we go and if you We'll make a new material, make it look nice and sexy. So, like the example, I'm just going to make it a pink, maybe a pinky purple sort of colour. Like so. Add a bit of reflection, go to reflection. For now. Bump the brightness right down and the mix strength down just a little bit as well. Maybe add one or two percent of blurriness and if we drop that onto our sphere now see how this is looking cool and I'm just going to add a shiny white material to the other sphere that we've made, like so. So if we hit play now, and we render, have a quick look. And there we go, we might want to bump up the anti-aliasing just to make the reflections look a little bit nicer. But that's pretty much today's tutorial, so I hope you found it useful, hope you learned something. Don't forget to leave your feedback in the comment box below. And also, if you do anything, make sure to post your videos as a response to this video. I love to check out your work, so thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it. And I will see you again very soon in another video. Catch you later guys.